One of the central themes of the way of sacred attention, which is a psycho-spiritual model, a way uh, through the psychology of the human being to further heart, authentic and spiritual states of realization. In order to do that, we start at the beginning, we start foundationally even for people who have been involved in therapy and counselling for quite some time. Even for those who have sometimes given up on therapy and counselling because it didn't yield the kind of results that they had hoped for. There is the understanding perhaps that there's an attachment to early life conditions. In other words, there's a remedial state whereby adults are still living in reaction and in relationship to early life circumstances. Now part of the early life conditions and the strategies for survival that as children we wisely created for ourselves is the attachment to primary carers, important figures in early life, mother, father, uncle, aunt, sister, brother and so forth. These become interjects in the adult life. In other words, they live on in a frozen state, not developed in the sense that the outer person may have to whatever degree changed or in some way evolved, but in actual fact stuck in the way in which we had assembled our experience around them when we were very, very young indeed. This can amount to uh, possession of a certain character or even of a male or female principle. We call it animus or anima possession in that case. But drawn down to grassroots level and not to obfuscate the uh, the issue too much, mother or father themselves as introjects are complexes inside us that we adhere to through their demands, through their expectations and assumptions of us put in plain language, the adult is still a child, seeking to please, or in some cases to not please, through rebellion, his mother, his or her mother or father. Now this comes up again and again in counselling and therapy, it always did, it always has and it always will as long as we need uh, counselling to deal with remedial issues which in a sense should or could have been dealt with far earlier so that as we move through stages of life we're actually able to live them, experience them and to process their challenges, their fruits, their richness at the time rather than move through life with a kind of sack of unresolved material on our backs, a certain pressure which becomes heavier and heavier as we go on of course. I want in this short presentation to present you with one key thought, one key method, something that really works and a question that you should really ask yourself if you understand the and resonate with the things that I've just said. And that is this, if the mother, the father, in some cases a grandmother, a grandfather, or uncle or other primary carer from your early life seems to be inordinately in charge or control of your present adult life. Ask yourself this question. How am I attached to them? How am I still attached to them? And what do I still want from them? The answer to these questions, it's really one, will give you the key to how it is you're holding on to them, how it is you're creating their present controlling, manipulating, over influential inner position in your life which affects all that you do and say and how you behave whether you succeed or fail, whether you feel you deserve a good relationship or a bad, and everything which is taking place. How am I still attached to, fill in the gap, 
what do I want from them? Don't expect the answer to be rational or to make sense in present time. It doesn't have to, it probably won't. Don't expect it to be rational. Expect it, however, to be potent and the answering of that question to be relieving and liberating in your present life.